place. She cannot be alone. She cannot be alone. Mother, they are making me rest. But if you feel like passing, you will send me a sign, yes? A signal? Please do not leave me without a goodbye. I love you. That is how my memories returned, in a dream. I saw a cloud carrying angelic figures of marvelous beauty, and one of them gradually transformed into my mother. In this instant, I knew she had just died. I have thought about this moment quite a bit. Why was it the last memory that I recovered? Why did I lose them in the first place? I cannot subscribe to a spiritual reason. I have never found evidence to believe in such things. It does, however, give credence to the idea that the human race is a living organism. Though free to think and act, we are held together, like the stars in the firmament, by ties inseparable. These ties we cannot see, but we can feel. I cut my finger, and it pains me. My finger and I are one. I see a friend injured, and it injures me, too. My friend and I are one. And now I see an enemy harmed, a lump of matter which, of all the lumps of matter in the universe I care least for, it still it grieves me. Does this not prove that each of us is only part of a whole? I theorize that before long, information will throb through the world like a pulse in a living organism. Pictures, electrical signals, and the, the words that we hear over telephone will be broadcast across the globe. And the instruments which will do this will be as amazingly simple as our present day telephone. A, a man will be able to carry one in his vest pocket. And what shall happen when such technology exists? In a wirelessly connected world, he will be converted into a huge brain, capable of response in each of its parts. Your neighbors will not just be the people on your street, but everyone across the globe. <laughs> I also theorize that in a few years, it will be possible for nations to fight without armies, ships, or guns. Weapons far more terrible. A city at any distance from the enemy can be destroyed by him, and no power on earth can stop him from doing so. So which path do you suppose we shall take? Destruction or fellowship? Will we wirelessly love our brethren the world over, or will we find grosser ways to kill? I, for one, Believe in humanity.
because my mother was the greatest inventor I ever knew. If she had been born with the opportunities of a man, she would have outshined me. But she was also the most compassionate person I ever knew. When technology finally gives a voice to people like my mother, I only hope the world will listen and we will shine more brilliantly in our unity than the stars in the sky. Now the Greeks were mistaken. Gods come not from the machine. Men must come from the machine. The wireless. We are all connected. Hominum X. Mocking. Thank you very much for coming. I am Nikola Tesla. Thank you, thank you everyone. Thank you. It's nice to see a crowd out tonight. My name is Ricky Coates. I'm from Math Theater. Uh, before we, I talk a little bit about our company and what it does, I want to give a big thank you to everyone who made this possible. Um, for me, as a Seattle touring or, or a Salt Lake now touring artist, to come here and, and perform my show for you, it, it takes a lot of energy on the part of this campus. So I want to thank Joe right there. This man, who <laughs> Thank you, Joe. And Kelly, you too. Um, I also want to thank Jason and Sadie back there for letting the technical aspects of the show. Uh, now, a little bit about Math Theater. We are a, a touring theater co company dedicated to promoting math and science through the arts. Uh, for those of you who are here at noon, we had a show called Calculus the Musical, which was a completely different show that helped you learn about calculus through the, the love of theater. Um, so if you, want to, if you haven't seen that show, I hopefully will be back next year, uh, in order to, to promote more calculus. Um, we also have another show in the works that is about, it, it will feature uh, original music about the life and legacy of Madame Marie Curie, as well as uh, give lessons on chemistry uh, done by my, my own sister, because uh, she's a chemist. Um, so, if you want to know more about Madame Marie Curie, please tell everyone uh, that uh, your professors and all those people about your interest in the show, about the, your interest in math theater, and hopefully we'll be back next year to give you more, uh, more science. Um, now, before we go, I do want to say, if you want to know more about math theater, you can follow us on Facebook. We post a lot of fun things about math, about science, and about arts in the tour. And I have a little gift for you under my magic table right here. There are stickers that say Tesla X Machina on them. They're awesome. I put one all over everything that I own. Um, please, come up here and grab one. Uh, I do suggest that you put in a donation just because it helps me, you know, uh, buy a beverage and or buy something tonight. Um, <laughs> and these weren't free. But if you just want to take one because you love the show, just come on up and grab one. Uh, just promote because there's way too many Edisons out there and we need more Teslas. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah.